Hey guys, my name is Jeremy. You know, I set up some videos back during the first shutdown when we all got shut down during coronavirus. Just some things I was reading at that point in time. And then, well, I didn't know if I wanted to, well, I did want to do that, but just falling through. So anyway, I'm back. And if this gets a fall on, then I'll do more videos, but that's in the Lord's hands. So we'll see what happens. If you want somebody to speak on social media or YouTube or whatever, so be it. That'd be great, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Let's take a look at verse 2 in Leviticus chapter 12. Speak to the people of Israel, saying, If a woman conceives and bears a male child, then she shall be unclean seven days. Okay. People of Israel. Woman, male child, unclean seven days. Now, let's flip to Revelation chapter 12. Just pair these two up together. Not that the chapters and the verses have any real forbearance. Those got put in later, but God has his hands in all things, right? Chapter 12. A great sign appeared in heaven. We should know this one by now. A woman clothed with the sun. Woman, in this sign, Virgo, sun, literally sun, moon, literally the moon, and on her head, a crown of 12 stars. Well, look at Virgo. There's not 10, 12 stars up there. We needed three wandering stars. I think it was three. That made 12. She was pregnant. Jupiter was in retrograde in the stomach of Virgo crying out in birth pains and agony of giving birth right that boom that all happened September 23rd 2017 but let's pay attention to the second part of this next one and another sign appeared in heaven this one I think we're still waiting on behold a great red dragon with seven heads ten horns and on his head seven crowns his tail swept down a third of the stars of heaven and cast on earth Something to do with the uh, serpent bearer up there. What is it called? Of Ofsuchius or something like that. Right? And the dragon stood before the woman. was about to give birth. So that when she bore her child, he might devour it. She, woman, gave birth to a male child. Seeing the connections here? One who's to rule all the nations with a rod of iron. Makes us think, oh, this is Jesus. Guys, Jesus ascended on high. Pentecost roughly 30 AD. He's been ruling for 2,000 years now. This isn't about Jesus right here. It's about us. What does uh, the epistle of John say? We are brethren to Christ and rules and heirs with him in his kingdom. Right? We'll rule. We'll have that rod of iron. But our child was caught up to God and to his throne. Rapture. Right through there. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she had place prepared by God in which she was being nourished three and a half years, 1,260 days. Now, this is three and a half years. Leviticus said seven years, right? Now, Christianity 101, as far as great tribulation, seven years. Seven days unclean. Say to the people of Israel, Israel is represented by a woman many times, right? So I think Leviticus, going back to that Leviticus, the woman, not only does the law point to Christ, it's also prophetic. Speak to the people of Israel. Of course, all the Torah got handed to Israel. But Israel is the subject. Well, that's the audience. If a woman, subject, conceives and bears a male, male child or a man-child, then she shall be unclean seven days. We know that last week of seven days, seven years in Revelation. For the tribulation and the wrath, that's all seven years. So I hope you guys see my point. I'm not just completely rambling for no reason whatsoever. She, the woman, gave birth to a male child, male child, and would be unclean seven days, a.k.a. Seven years. The tribulation primarily has to do with the nation of Israel. Technically, we all are Israel. We're grafted in, as in Romans 11. 
But as far as the nation state and those unbelieving, they're unclean because they don't believe in Christ. Right? She, she, Israel, gives birth to the male child. She's been conceiving us since Christ was here. And we're about to be fully born in our glorification. And this is rapture verse right here. So September 23rd, 2017, verse 1 through 2, that already happened. We're waiting for the second part of the sign to happen. That will be the rapture. The question of when exactly that is, I don't know. And there's a whole other study to go through speculation over the timing, the horsemen. I'll just leave with this one statement. In Revelation itself, what is the first time marker? Right? When is the first 1,260 days show up? A time, times, and half a time. It's not in the seals. There's no time given for it. That's your hint. Well, you guys have a good night.